think that the issue is not about freedom of expression, but it's uh, misuse for advocating violence, uh, for propagating separatism, and for um, legitimizing terrorism. These uh, posters inciting violence against our diplomats and our diplomatic premises are abroad, uh, abroad are unacceptable, and we condemn them in the strongest terms. It is a matter of concern that freedom of expression and speech is once again being misused by anti-India elements uh, based in Canada and elsewhere. The Canada one uh, specifically because I think uh, there was reports of, uh, you know, the, that's where it started off. There is a rally on the so-called rally on the 8th. Uh, first and foremost, there are two separate elements. You would have seen posters inciting uh, violence against Indian diplomats. I think, Manash, you were referring to that. What do we do? What is our overall sense? Look, our sense is that these uh, posters inciting violence against our diplomats and our diplomatic premises are abroad, uh, abroad are unacceptable. And we condemn them in the strongest terms. Um, with respect to Canada, the matter has been strongly taken up with the Canadian authorities, um, both in New Delhi and in Ottawa. Uh, we have called on the government of Canada to take all steps to ensure the safety of our diplomats and security of our diplomatic missions in Canada. Um, it is a matter of concern that freedom of expression and speech is once again being misused by anti-India elements uh, based in Canada and elsewhere. And we continue to press the Canadian side to ensure that our diplomats can carry out their normal functions without fear or um, intimidation. Um, we have seen some comments, at least the media reports about comments uh, by Prime Minister Trudeau. Uh, but let me make the larger point that the issue is not about freedom of expression, but it's uh, misuse for advocating violence, uh, for propagating separatism, and for... Um, legitimizing terrorism. So that's actually what we would like to, uh, you know, emphasize. Um, we have also uh, had instances uh, or situations where, uh, you know, where uh, these kind of threats have also taken place, be the U.S., uh, Australia, and the U.K., uh, to name a few. Um, you would have seen uh, external affairs minister himself mention in the context of, I think, Prime Minister Trudeau's comments, and that uh, he, external affairs minister, strongly believes that countries should not pander to vote bank politics. Um, we have um, seen comments by UK foreign secretary. I think that comment somebody asked specifically about UK. Um, as you are aware, we have had problems with the security of uh, you know of our mission in London. Uh, we have taken up this latest uh, issue of threats against our diplomats um, with the UK authorities. Um, we have noted these comments by UK Foreign Secretary, but uh, we would naturally judge them by um, what happens on the ground. Um, in the name of freedom of uh, expression, uh, we should not be giving space to those who advocate violence or, as I said, propagate separatism or legitimize terrorism.